so what you see all over is the laterite soil so today we are going to discuss about the formation of laterite soil so here i am in one of the places of deccan plateau and especially the deccan traps so the moment i say deccan traps you may have the question that where are the basalt rocks okay because deccan trap is nothing but the um, you know it's formed with the flow of lava and you have extrusive igneous rocks such as basalt so there should be basalt yes uh, here you can see few uh, basalt rocks i'll say uh, i'll explain how it is linked with the formation of laterite so there is a huge laterite formation so let us have a close look as you can see here it's very coarse in nature and very hard almost like a rock so that is one of the reason it is uh, used for building purpose so now let us uh, look at the vegetation around and then we will discuss about the formation so as you can see this thick vegetation indicating a um, good amount of rainfall and this place uh, receives a uh, average of uh, 150 centimeters of rainfall that is which is slightly above moderate okay so now let us discuss how where is the basalt and how it is how these are interlinked so as you see the basalt here so the region has undergone weathering for you know thousands of years okay so over a period of time what happens you know there are a lot of bacteria in the soil you know they all uh, take part in weathering so here uh, this is one of the basalt and here it's another form like with lime so during the monsoons okay when uh, you know there's heavy rainfall because of the heavy downpour this uh, lime which is in the basalt the white color patches here okay they get leached away okay and this is how the leaching process happens during this process whatever um, lime is there it gets uh, leached away and only the minerals such as iron aluminium are left behind and they come into contact with water and form iron oxides okay, ferrous oxides so this is how eventually the rock changes into laterite and then again over a period of time it turns completely like somewhat like this so now that is what we discussed in the wet season now in the dry season what happens is when the uh, soil is exposed to air the oxygen as there are a lot of pores left behind the oxygen from the atmosphere reacts with these minerals and form iron oxides as a result you will see complete red ground all over okay covering the actual basalt so basically what i mean to say is the basalt rock is far beneath this laterite formation okay and the rich uh, you know, iron content leaves the entire water reddish in color as you can see almost like tea and here the froth even this contains a lot of iron so the thing is it is very poor in lime and potash because we already have seen how it gets leached okay so these are the properties and moreover yeah uh, one more thing is uh, it does not retain water though i am you see i am approaching very close to the water but still no uh, you cannot see any slush over here that is the reason it is very much suitable for the construction purpose so normally whenever there is road construction initially the unmetal roads are made by the laterite soil so this is very much suitable for construction purpose and building 